Hi, this is Darren Power from On Course Profits Magazine. And um, in this video, we have some jump season trainer and jockey combos for the early part of the jump season. Um, this is a system created by Dr. Nick Hardman for On Course Profits Magazine. This is the second video. Um, the first one is on YouTube if you want to um, watch that afterwards or first. Um, or you can just read the full article in On Course Profits magazine at oncourseprofits.com forward slash free. So the first combination is Gary and Jamie Moore. The father and son team of Gary Moore and Jamie Moore are not as prolific as the combinations we've covered in the previous video, but they still team up for a very respectful strike rate of 19% across the last four seasons. The results are actually better than the bare figures suggest when you look at the yearly breakdown. Since 2015, the duo has combined in the months of October and November for 25 winners from 110 runners, increasing the strike rate of 23% and boosting the profits to £76.94 at Betfair SP. This tells me that the duo is on an upward trajectory and it will be interesting to see how they go in 2018. We can improve on the 2014 to 2017 numbers by first ditching the bumper runners who are zero for six runs. Furthermore, we can ditch those running at Class 5 level and below, as 22 of the 25 Chase and Hurdles runners have done their winning in Class 1 to Class 4 events. In doing so, we are left with a decent set of results. First system, back Gary Moore's runners when ridden by his son Jamie Moore during October and November in Hurdle and Chase races of Class 4 or higher. Back over to Ireland for our next combination, and this time it's John Joseph Hanlon and Rachel Blackmore. Since 2014, they have combined for 10 winners from 50, 57 runners at a modest strike rate of 17%. But those winners have combined for a decent profit of £77.23 at Betfair SP. They mostly team up over the smaller obstacles, where they have a record of 6 from 43, but they have also gone in with two chases from just 11 rides. The interesting angle here is that they have yet to record a winner when the horse in question has been aged 4 years. And when combining three and four-year-olds, they are one from 13. Four-year-olds usually contested bumpers and juvenile maiden and novice hurdles. Eliminating those runners, along with the golden oldies aged 11 and older, improves their overall record to nine from 42, and the strike rate is a more respectable 21%. These results can be improved upon further by sticking to the handicappers, who have a decent record of eight from 33, a 24% strike rate, and realize a profit of 90 pounds and 23 pence in comparison, those running in non-handicap races have a record of 1 from 9 and show a small loss at bet for SP. All those winners have gone in at decent prices ranging from 4 to 1 to 33 to 1, so they never get hammered in the market to prohibitive odds. System bet John Joseph Hanlon runners aged 5-year-old to 10-year-old racing in handicaps in October and November ridden by Rachel Blackmore. Like Rachel Blackmore and John Joseph Hanlon, you will most likely not get a huge amount of qualifiers from Henry Whittington and Harry Bannister runners. But remember, we are focusing on just the months of October and November, and there is no harm in combining the other trainers and jockeys so you will get a meaningful number of bets to work with. In the last few seasons, they have combined for 11 winners from 32 rides, an impressive strike rate of 34%, and those winners would have seen you in profit to the tune of £20 and 2 pence at Betfair SP. There is a nice even split between the handicappers that are 5 from 16 and non-handicappers which are 6 from 16, so no need to worry about focusing on either type of race. Similarly, there have been winners in bumpers, hurdles and chases and all have produced a profit to varying degrees. Winners have also come in all age groups from 4 year old up to 9 year old and again we see a similar pattern in terms of race distance with winners over just shy of 2 miles all the way up to races over 3 miles. While this already has the look of a rock solid angle there are a couple of other interesting statistics to throw into the mix. Firstly 8 of those 11 winners have come in class 4 races from a total of just 20 runners. That equates to a strike rate of 40% and whilst this does not necessarily improve the overall profit and loss it does leave you looking at plenty of winners and losing runs should be kept to a minimum. Another interesting angle is that 8 of the 11 winners were sent off as the favourite, joint favourite or co-favourite from just 13 such qualifiers. No surprise to see then that all 11 winners returned an SP of 12 to 1 or shorter at industry prices and 16 or shorter at bet for SP. 
In total, 24 qualifiers returned a bet fee, Betfair SP of under 16, and that is a strike rate of 46%. Obviously, this is not an easy angle to explore. I like to get my bets on early, usually the night before or on the morning of the race, so predicting SP is nigh and impossible. What I would say, though, is that if one of the runners is a forecast favourite or has an early show of 12 to 1 or shorter, then we have a pretty good chance of hitting the mark in terms of the upper ceiling for SP. The simplest angle may just be to back their runners in Class 4 races. Either way, a strike rate in excess of 40% for their fancied runners should see you grab a few winners if this trend continues. The system back Henry Whitson's runners when ridden by Harry Bannister in Class 4 races in October and November. This presentation has shared just three trainer jockey combinations for October and November. You can get access to the full portfolio with all the combo angles for free when you subscribe to On Course Profits magazine. Just go to oncourseprofits.com forward slash free.